Welcome to the fourth annual Social Worker Circle of Care Awards. My name is Tim Hanold, the CEO of the presenting sponsor for this awards event, Care Advantage. We are so pleased to be here today to honor social workers from around the entire state of Virginia and to raise awareness for the noble field of social work, as well as raise important research dollars for an amazing cause, VCU Massey Cancer Center. The last 24 months have been life-changing for many of us. While unfortunately we could not be in person this year, I am thankful that we are together now in a virtual setting. Social work is a profession dedicated to helping people from all walks of life function the best they can in their environment. This career can be very challenging, but also incredibly self-fulfilling as you get to practice compassion and kindness on a daily basis. However, social workers haven't always received the accolades they deserve, and this was noticed by our chair, Miss Debbie Johnston. Debbie created the idea for this event in the spirit of honoring the unsung heroes in healthcare, and thus, the Circle of Care Awards was born. Please welcome Debbie Johnston, the founder of Care Advantage and now CEO of Serenity First Hospice in Richmond, Virginia. Hi there, I'm Debbie Johnston, the chairwoman for this year's Social Worker Circle of Care Awards. I want to welcome everybody here to give a great celebration to our social workers. It's their night, it's their time. We want to do a big shout out for them. They have an amazing job in the hospital and they work so hard to get people where they need to go and along their journey. And I just admire each and every one of you. Thank you so much for showing tonight. And we just can't wait to see the finalists and the people that win the awards. It's gonna be awesome. Um, I just have known social workers most of my life and have many that are friends. And I just can't say enough about the respect that I have for what you do to help patients through their journey. You do a lot, and the families. Thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I know so many of you, I love you, I think you do great. Um, and this year's event, all monies raised go to Massey Cancer Center, which is close to my heart, as I'm a board member there, and we are making such advances with cancer care. We're getting there, people. Every day we get closer and closer to a cure. So thank you so much for your kind donations. And if anybody else wants to donate, it's not too late. Congratulations to the nominees, the finalists, and the winners. Congratulations on your night. Love you. Thank you, Debbie. As we mentioned, the other reason we are here tonight is to raise money for a wonderful nonprofit, VCU Massey Cancer Center. Here with a message about the life-saving work that they do for our communities is Dr. Robert Wynn. Director and Lippman Chairman in Oncology for VCU Massey Cancer Center. Thank you, Tim, and all the Care Advantage team members for organizing this wonderful award. Uh, my name is Dr. Robert Wynn. I am currently the Cancer Center Director of the VCU Massey Cancer Center, which is one of the 71 cancer centers in the United States that have been federally designated as a center of excellence. The thing I'm most proud about at Massey is that we take care of everyone, independent of their ability to pay, independent of who they are. It turns out that COVID, as terrible as it has been, has brought a new awareness to all of us. Now, 50 years ago when cancer centers were designated, they were designated only one principle, research. Create the new technologies, create the new miracle drugs. What we recognize through this pandemic is that you can have a miracle vaccine or a miracle cancer drug or a miracle technology, but if people don't have trust, faith, and the human touch, they may not always get the care they need. This is where you all, social workers, not only at VCU Massey, but throughout Virginia and the country have stepped up. And I know it, while you don't always get the headlines like the new drugs or like the new technologies or like the new miracle vaccines, you actually deserve the credit. You're able to take care of not only individuals, but entire families. You're able to do superhuman things 
like say to someone that, yes, I know this treatment may mean you may be out for a couple of days, but we have wraparound services that we can provide you with. You have become my heroes. I have become much more aware of the work that you do every day, sometimes in silence. Well, awards like the one you all are getting today, the Circle of Care Award for social workers, means a whole lot. It's not just shining light on you today, but it's shining light on your profession and who you are every day. I wanna thank you. I wanna thank the Care Advantage team for organizing this wonderful award. But most importantly, I really do wanna thank each and every one of you, the social workers who work tirelessly, who understand the concept of self-sacrifice and the benefit of what your sacrifice means to so many people. I wanna to say to you, from the entire VCU Massey Nation, and from me as a Cancer Center Director that has come a long way to understand the benefit of not only my new cures, but of my new friends, my new colleagues, my new heroes. You all are social workers. And with that, I wanna say thank you, thank you, and thank you from the bottom of my heart. Congratulations. And thank you, Dr. Wynn. As a reminder, throughout our program, you can always make a donation to the VCU Massey Cancer Center by typing the link into your web browser. Historically, we have met in person at the beautiful Jefferson Hotel in our capital city of Richmond, Virginia. And now I'm pleased to introduce to you the mayor of Richmond, Mr. LeVar Stoney. Good evening, and I'm LeVar Stoney, mayor of the great city of Richmond. I'm so honored to be able to bring you all virtual greetings tonight for the third annual Social Worker Circle of Care Awards. As you know, the Social Worker Circle of Care Awards held in our city of Richmond each year honors the accomplishments of social workers in healthcare. These individuals manage and coordinate care for residents across the state and often move mountains to help those who need it the most. I can't think of a more important time for us to acknowledge the role of social workers and honor their accomplishments in serving the community and as this pandemic has shown us, social workers are truly the superheroes within our communities. But you know this, and that's why this work has always been important, even when we didn't realize it or didn't want to acknowledge that. That's why I'm not only thankful for what you've done over the past year, but why we can all take comfort in the knowledge that our commitment to our community will always be there, bringing the transformative power of healing and wellness to our communities over the next years to come. I'm grateful to say that Richmond is a hub of activity for healthcare, from the VCU Massey Cancer Center to the laws that govern healthcare systems and policies at the state legislature. And being able to host this event in our city is truly an honor that we hold high. That's why we're excited to see you all next year for the fourth annual uh, annual award ceremony in person. I hope you all enjoyed the ceremony tonight and congratulations to the winners of the, this year's Circle of Care Awards. I hope you all stay safe, take care, and once again, thank you for your service. We would like to take a moment to recognize our sponsors for 2020 and 2021. Our presenting sponsor, Care Advantage, serving all your home care needs for over 30 years. Our signature sponsors, Serenity First Hospice Care, a Debbie Johnston company, Moomgium Weight and Coleman, Bell Health Investment Partners, and USI Insurance. Our platinum sponsors, Innovative Healthcare Management, including the rehabilitation and nursing centers of Wonder City, Westport, Glen Burnie, and Colonial Heights. Gold sponsors, Brander Mill Woods, Caremore Health, and Crow Accounting. Thank you to our silver sponsors, Virginia Credit Union, McBee Systems, 
Anthem Health Keepers Plus, 519 Advertising Agency, Charles Crone, Evan Massey, Jennifer and Jaron Clay, and the Law Office of Scott and Stringfellow. The Social Worker Circle of Care Awards is also proud to accept sponsors and in-kind donations from Canaan Print, Brand Advantage, The Jefferson Hotel, and Trophies Unlimited. Thank you again to all of our sponsors from over the last two years. So let's keep the momentum going and find out who our winners are. But before I forget, please be sure you stay tuned until the end for a special message from one of our award winners to all the social workers out there. It's no surprise that COVID really derailed our 2020 event. The world shut down the week that our judges were scheduled to work on their final selections. And then when you fast forward a year later, find that many of our finalists have actually moved around within the field of healthcare. So today we celebrate all finalists from both 2020 and 2021 together. So each category will name finalists for both years. Please be sure to congratulate all these amazing people for all they do and their purpose-driven work throughout the year. So let's keep the party going. Nominations for this event were done by members of the healthcare community and were also given by patients, family members, and clients who have worked with social workers closely. Judging for these awards is a tough task. The Circle of Care Committee worked very hard to put together a group of independent judges that really speaks to the level of detail in the social work profession. These judges not only have professional expertise in the field of social work, many also work or teach social work every day. Each judge was presented with all the nominees, over 200 individual submissions after which each judge ranked their winners as well as assigned a numbered score from 100 to 70 to break any ties. Thank you to our independent judging panel. The awards are separated into eight categories and are based on criteria that affect all social workers. The Social Workers Code of Ethics, which seeks to strengthen relationships, to promote, restore, and maintain the well-being of a family, individual, or social groups and communities. Each nominee was judged based on this code of ethics as well as the demonstrable differences they made in the care of patients, such as advocacy for patient care, integration of care, and resource management. Nominees were also judged on how they contributed positively to the field of social work during their career. We would like to thank our esteemed judges for taking their time to read each submission objectively and give our nominees the attention they deserved. Congratulations to our finalists and winners. And the first award for the Social Worker of the Year for Hospital is... Social Worker of the Year in a Hospital. Congratulations to our 2020 finalists, Alexandra Little, Amy Ferguson, Ebony Hankins-Worthy, Elizabeth Walsh, Jess Lax, Kimberly Mikowski, Lemmy Downs, Rachel McKeon, Shannon Stewart, Shelby Ward, Taylor Wolf, and Whitney burton Molesky. Finalists for 2021 are Alexandra Little, Donshia Smith, Ebony Hankins Worthy, Elizabeth Walsh, Aaron Miller, Kimberly Mikowski, Megan Stuck. And the winner is All right, Elizabeth Walsh, congratulations. And our next award is for the Social Worker of the Year for Hospice. Social Worker of the Year for Hospice. Congratulations to our 2020 finalists, Chelsea Cassidy, Ellen Hansen, Lisa Mooney, and Mary Parker. 
Our finalists for 2021, Aaron Ringhard, Jennifer Williams, Josh Shorter, Kathy Moses, Matthew Graham, and Sarah McBride. And the winner is... Sarah McBride. And the next award for our Social Worker of the Year Award for Communities, ALF, ILF, and CCRC. Social Worker of the Year for an Assisted Living Facility, Independent Living Facility, or Continuing Care Retirement Community. Congratulations to our 2020 finalist, Barbara Bolin, Beverly Abel, Lauren Duvall, and Taylor Belton. Finalists for 2021 are Beverly Abel, Jessica Dowdy, Kathy Moran, Shane Lanzo, and Valerie Hobson Bell. And the winner is... Kathy Moran. And now the Social Worker of the Year Award for Home Health Agencies. Social Worker of the Year for a Home Health Company. Congratulations to our finalists in the Home Health category for 2020. Alexandra Toddy, Michelle Walmsley, Patricia Walcott, Rhonda Handy, and Sasha Wallace. Finalists for our Home Health 2021 are Corliss Smith and Jenna Cinco. And the winner is Jenna Cinco. And next, the Social Worker of the Year Award for Skilled Nursing Facilities. Social Worker of the Year for Skilled Nursing Facilities. Congratulations to our finalists for 2020. Audra Watson, Deidre Arnowitz, Melanie Barker, Nicole Davis, Sarah Trailer, and Trish Grogan. Our finalists for 2021, Jennifer Johnson, Melanie Barker, Nicole Davis, and Tiara Jeffrey. And the winner is Melanie Barker. And the next category, Social Worker of the Year Award for Managed Care Organizations. Social Worker of the Year for a Managed Care Organization. Congratulations to our 2020 finalist, Jenna Ducks, Juanita Washington, Kathy Parnack, and Lisa O'Shea. Finalist for 2021, Caitlin James. Laura Ash Brackley. And the winner is Caitlin James. And now the Social Worker of the Year Award for our community. Social Worker of the Year for the Community. Congratulations to our 2020 finalists, Amy Height, Cheryl Johnson, Colleen Mannion, Marisa Sori, Medina Trent, Rosina Branham. Our finalists for 2021, Amy Height, 
Ashley Love, Ashley Sheely, and Medina Trent. And the winner is... Medina Trent. The Social Worker Legacy Award is our final award of this program. This award is presented to a social worker who has dedicated their career to bettering the field of social work. They have helped institute programs and policies in their line of work that have a lasting impact for years to come. They are looked upon as a mentor and a leader in their field, and they have made an impact on the lives of their patients and communities. They are adaptable and flexible, and have also shown that resource management isn't only a part of the job, but really a sixth sense. Don't forget to stay tuned after this award for a special message from our winners. The finalists from the Social Worker Legacy Awards are Social Worker of the Year Legacy Award. Congratulations to our 2020 finalists, Carrie Bennett, Colleen Turner, Dana King Rivera, Deirdre Arnowitz. Our 2021 finalists are Beverly Abel Carter, Dana King Rivera, Leander Mondre. And the winner is Dana King Rivera. Right. And also congratulations to all of our winners this year. Hi, I'm Misty Zirk, Regional Sales Manager for the Central Region of Care Advantage. Congratulations to the finalists and the winners of the 2021 Social Worker Circle of Care Awards. For our winners that were just announced, be on the lookout for visits from our team as they come to deliver your award in person. We would love to get your official picture and would be honored if you would like to film a brief acceptance speech and thank your loved ones or offer any words of wisdom to your social work comrades. We would also like to thank Trophies Unlimited for this beautiful glass award that really honors the legacy of social work and the important role that you play in our community. Finally, before we close out our program, we have a special message to our audience from my friend and the 2021 Legacy Award winner, Dana King Rivera. Thank you so much for this honor. As most social workers go, we don't accept praise very well. I'm accepting this award for all of us. We see something that needs to be done and we do it. The last two years have changed us and those that we care for. Children couldn't go to school and had to learn virtually. Parents had to stop working so they could be home with their children. Some people even lost their job due to COVID restrictions. And residents in long-term care facilities faced depression and isolation as they had to stay in their rooms for safety. We all had to learn to work differently, especially with masks and face shields. There are many examples that we faced and aren't even aware of in all of our areas of expertise. We adapted and overcame because that's who we are and what we do. My arena is long-term care. It's my calling and I love my job. It's a bonus that I care for veterans as I come from a military family. Being a veteran helps me to connect with my residents more. I work on many projects for veterans such as Honor Flight, Reese Across America, and placing flags on veterans' graves at an overrun cemetery. However, I couldn't do what I do without my team, my coworkers, family, and friends. Probably one of the highlights of the last two years during this pandemic was introducing technology to some of our older residents. I was able to show a 100-year-old man his daughter on a big screen TV during a FaceTime. We also did window visits and telephone calls and delivered food that families would drive by and drop off for both the staff and for the residents. We just really tried to 
um, keep their spirits up. We've all had to change and continue on for the benefit of our recipients, and we have all done a great job. Thank you for attending our virtual program. The kind and meaningful work that social workers do every day is noticed and appreciated. Don't forget that you can still make a donation to VCU Massey Cancer Center by visiting the link located on your screen. We hope to see you in person at the historic Jefferson Hotel in Richmond, Virginia in 2022. Until then, stay safe and be well.